Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to look at how you can configure IP restrictions for the access of PAM360 solution. So if you go to admin tab of PAM360, you have a dedicated section called IP restrictions where you will find these three different options. Typically, users access the PAM solution using the web URL. So they open the browser and uh, supply the URL, and that's how they typically access the PAM solution. And uh, you might also have uh, RESTful API usage, where you trigger API to uh, 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 retrieve passwords or perform operations programmatically. And then you might have Windows and Linux agents deployed in target machines that would allow you to uh, reset passwords of those machines, even the ones that are uh, residing in isolated zones. So for each of these types of access, we have the option for you to register the IP addresses that are allowed or block a set of IP or IP range so that the PAM cannot be accessed from those range. Now, the point to remember before you start playing around with this area is that if you supply an IP address in the allowed IP and save it, um, then that's the only IP address from which you will be able to access the password uh, vault. So just make sure you are providing the correct, accurate IP address from which you are currently accessing the URL, just to make sure you don't get locked out. Because if you provide a, a different IP and save it, and you don't have access to that IP, then you're essentially locked out and you have to reach our support team. So. Uh, just make sure you take a backup of PAM folder maybe or a VM snapshot before you try this IP restrictions capability. And as you can see, it also supports uh, a comma separated values. So you can provide multiple IPs as comma separated values or you can provide an IP range. So for example, 10.1.1.1 hyphen 10.1.1.99. So the solution can be accessed from any IP within this range. So both formats are supported. And uh, you can either go for allowing uh, of IP addresses or blocking the certain ranges. Both will work. And this option is available for all three type of access. So like I said, if you know for a fact that you only have a handful of machines from which you are going to be triggering API calls, so just add those IP addresses in the allowed IP list. So only from those machines will the API requests be processed. If the API request comes from any other IP address, spam will basically drop that request and it will not process it. And um, agents, the same concept, where if you deploy an agent in a machine, it automatically gets registered inside PAM as a resource. And uh, you can provide the range of IP addresses in which you have the agents deployed. So that way, even if someone were to uh, gain access to the agent and the secret key of the agent and they try to deploy it in a machine, they will not be able to access spam unless they also have access uh, to that particular IP address, which is authorized in this allowed IP area. So that will enhance the security of your uh, uh, application and your infrastructure. 